Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? Greetings, salutations, and blessings to you all. I hope that you guys had a great and productive week. And that you guys have a well and deserved relaxing upcoming weekend. Please be safe going to and from. And when you guys ever leave your home, I hope you guys make it back home safely to be back and enjoy the time with your loved ones. I'm excited and amazing things are happening. Let me share with you why. First and foremost, because we're able to wake up and live another day. The blessing is to wake up and the rest requires action. And I'm able to see that now. And that excites me. Wow. Oh, my God. And remember, I'm not blind. They just gave me this cane so I don't ever forget from where I came from. And if you wonder, please don't, because I see what you don't. And when I rise and shine, I praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Now, today's a good, a good day, a beautiful day. Today's recognition day. And, at the, and towards the end, um, today's message will be, you do matter more than you'll ever know. Um, so the first recognition that I do have to give goes out, big shout out to God, the creator, the universe, the source, however you see it. And remember, it's not about religion, but it's about the personal relationship that you have with the creator. Oh yes. And then by you having and building a relationship with the creator, the universe, day by day, second by second, good times and bad times, and joyful times and sad times, healing times, then you start to grow your personal relationship with yourself. And this journey that I've partaken and been willing to participate in has been an amazing one. I will not change this for nothing in the world. And I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I continue to keep an open mind, okay? And I, I probably changed this much, and I got that much more of changing to go through willingly, voluntarily, that I wanna participate in, okay? So thank you, thank you, God, my universe. I choose to be a host to you, God, my universe. How can it be of service today? Thank you. Thank you for the price that you paid and thank you for the freedom because I declare that I am free and I behold the abundance that surrounds me. Yes, I do. Now in this light, today is recognition day. So here we go. Now don't laugh, don't laugh, but here's my list and I'm gonna share with you guys how I get it done because the blessing is to wake up with the rest requires action. So here we go. I'm going to use this. This is how I write down my list. <laughs> Don't laugh. Here it goes. I would like to recognize. And here we go. Of course, God, the creator, my universe, right? For this freedom and this joy that he's filled me up with. Yes. I would also like to thank Dr. Deepak Chopra for your crusade, my brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you for empowering us and enlightening us, enlightening us with your light and showing us that we are light and we are victorious. If you can get a chance, check him out. Check him out. Oh, before I continue, my disclaimer is, I know that this is not for everybody. I know that and it's okay. We'll still pray for you. And I'm hoping to reach at least one person. I just want to light a spark in your life. Light that spark. And then you figure it out. And then you do it and you make adjustments and you do it your way. And and, and, and grow with it. That's all. That's all. Okay. Um, so with that disclaimer being said, I'm going to go ahead and continue. I would also like to thank or recognize... Nelson Mandela, thank you, my brother. Wow, 
Thank you. To my beautiful mother. To my father. Jose. To my beautiful mother. Campeona de campeones. Aura Marinita Campos and my father Jorge Campos, another leader, champ of our champs. Thank you. Jose Lopez. Jose Pepe Lopez Munoz. Wow, champ. Wow. You are going through it, but you're not allowing your body to take control over your mind and your spirit. Every day that I get to spend time with you, I admire you for the strength that you're using and you're tapping into that God gives you every day when he wakes you up. And the blessing is to wake up the rest requires action. Yes, this gentleman, I know him for more than probably 25 years. And if you think you're going through it, oh man, stage four terminal cancer, that's what they say he has his diagnosis. But we say together and when we wake up and he says and he reminds me, I am alive, I am awake and I am energetic and I got this. So let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, wow. To the Aviles family. Oh yes, my neighbors. Thank you. Thank you. Starting with Johnny Aviles and his wife, Lydia. Oh my God, soldiers, prayer soldiers, warriors. Thank you for all your prayers that you had for me and all of us because when I was blind and lost, your prayers Oh my goodness, they were answered. Thank you, thank you. And also for David, Fresh Aviles, your son and his wife and his family. Very proud of you, David. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about, Chan. Oh my goodness, I'm very impressed on what you're doing and what you stand for. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. Also, my both brothers, cousin brothers, Aldo, Brian, Herrera, love you, bro. Love you, bro. Oh my God. Let's get it done, baby. And Byron, Rodrigo, Ortega, I'm proud of you, baby. Don't give up, baby. I know it's hard, baby, but we got to keep it going. Keep your head up. I believe in you. And Brian, Oh my goodness, the best is yet to come. We're just barely getting started. And also, my brothers and my sister, Arturo Biggs and Barbara Barbs. It was my great pleasure speaking with you guys a couple days ago. I'm so impressed and glad to see the happiness and the light that you guys are giving off and how you guys are shining. Wow, oh my goodness. Very impressed and I love it. Keep it going. Positivity, baby. Positivity, baby. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. Oh, and happy belated birthday, Barbs. May God bless you with many more years of love, peace, joy, health, and happiness in your life. And thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you. Miles Manzano. Oh, my God, my little brother. When you had to step up to the plate, you did. Oh, my God. You did, my brother. Whoo! So proud of you. Whoo! Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep sharing. Keep tapping into that power that you have that's given to you by God. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Whoo! Also, I want to give a shout out to Mario Felix, who has accepted Jesus Christ. Oh, hang in there, brother. It's so worth it. Keep it going. Marco Martinez. Delia Marin. Ricky Magana. Ozzy Guterres. Danny, my brother from Whittier. Fred De Hoya. 
and his sister Gina, Alex Alejandro Lopez. Yes. Everybody at Empower Tech, which was the institution in which I got to go there for four years to learn what I had to learn, allowed me to get to this point. Oh my God, only to be able to share the light that has been given to me. Joan Anderson, Ismael Herrera, my mentor, Keith Brow, another mentor of mine. They showed us in life you make excuses or you make it happen and my disability is not the reason why I should stop and give up but the reason why I should continue to go even stronger and bring out the best version of myself. Yes, and all the champs that I met at the Braille Institute in Los Angeles in Orange County and the Junior Blind of America. Yes, and the Lighthouse. Yes, Esmeralda. Good job, champ. Gladys, good job. Albert Hernandez, rest in peace, brother. Thank you for everything that you shared with us. Thank you. Fred Marin, thank you. Victor, yes. Rudy Nunez, thank you. Thank you. And all my other brothers and sisters at Empower Tech, yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Mr. Bill Memo Noriega, my brother in Christ, a soldier. There's no coincidence why I bumped into you, brother. Bill Noriega, my name is Marco Noguera. Wow, no coincidence in life. Very proud of you, brother. Oh my God, keep it going, keep it going. Yes, Corey Neal, oh my God, beautiful man. You're amazing. So proud of you and thank you, my brother. Isaiah El Valencia. That's right, champ. That's right. Oscar Gordillo. Junior. Yes. Richard Garcia. That's right, Richard Garcia. My brother, much respect. Yes, thank you. Thank you for taking care of your mom and your family and everything that you do, brother, and what you stand for, baby. That's right. Manny Quadra, no coincidence why I bumped into you again after so many years. Keep it up, brother, keep it up. Yes, yes. Jose Manuel Lucas Rocha. Mad props to you, my brother, and artista. Yes, no coincidence why I bumped into you, my brother. Man, thank you for when I needed help and I was lost. You helped my mom in pointing me in the right direction and allowing me to go to the Bible Tabernacle. Thank you. Joey Chepito. Thank you, brother. Oh, yes. Thank you as well. And also Lex Love. No coincidence why I bumped into you, my brother. Mr. Lex Love, yes for you are sharing the love that was given to you from up above with the whole world. Keep shining, brother. Lex Love, yes. Jim T. Lamb. Yes, keep it going, Jim T. Lamb. So proud of you. You hung in there. You're gonna continue to go. Keep moving forward. You went through obstacles just like all of us. Ups and downs, but you hanged in there. And now that you're on the up and rising, you're still taking care of your parents. You're doing what you gotta do. And you're not forgetting from where you came from. Thank you, shit, mate. Yes. Yes. Now there's many more and I will continue to share as the, as the weeks go by because I'm not going nowhere. I'm here, my flag is planted. I'm here for the long term, long, long term until my number gets picked. Yes, and when that my number gets picked, as long as I was able to touch one person and, and spark and ignite a little fire in them so they can snap out of it, then I did my job. And when I go up and I bow down, I look up, I'm gonna say, thank you, Father. Thank you for the gifts that you gave me. You allowed me to share in the light that you filled me up with every day when you woke me up. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank and recognize all my spiritual soldiers, my spiritual warriors that are in the trenches. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's give out that that frequency, that vibration of love that conquers all. We're, we are fearless. Yes, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going.
Now in this light, I want to touch on my message for today, part two. Oh yes, and that is, you do count more than you'll ever know. You are so worthy more than, it, than you ever know. If no one's ever told you, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, yes, yes. Once you decide to go in the spiritual walk and you release it and you plug in with the source, when you plug in with the creator of the universe, then you'll start laying back layers of pain, little by little. And then you're gonna start to get to know yourself and you're gonna get to grow. And I'm just a baby in this process that I'm in, in the spiritual walk, I'm just a baby. I don't know nothing, but I do know that you are there's greatness within you and whether you choose to tap into it, it's up to you. And you have to decide. The most powerful thing that we got is our spirit, the human spirit that's given to us by the source, the Holy Spirit. Nothing can stop that. And once you make a decision, nothing can stop you. Now, it will be hard, but expect it because the moment you start to change and get out of your comfort zone and you start to try new things, the people around you, they're not going to like it. They're going to judge you because you're going to start to grow and shine. But it's okay. All right? It's okay. Expect it. Expect it. And also, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. And another great brother, he's called Inky Johnson. He says, we all know how to act when God answers our prayers and he says yes. But do we know how to act when God answers our prayers when he says no? Because really it's that will be done, not my will. So he will answer your prayers, but it'll be to his best fitting for the fit of your life. So when you're growing and you're going through it, grow through it as you're going through it because it's gonna make you stronger. And it's not necessarily physically stronger, but spiritually stronger, then mentally stronger, and then physically stronger. They told me one time, I have cirrhosis of the liver. In 2011, my kidneys were six to seven times the normal size and diabetes well as I started to go through it and grow through it I no longer have diabetes to God be the glory my kidneys I think I'm pretty sure they're healing my liver I'm pretty sure it's healing but I don't focus on that my legal blindness I'm not blind the physical sight that they say I lack does not compare to the vision that I now have. And that is to bring hope to as many people and their families that I can. Yes. And I can only go so far, but united, we are stronger. Yes. And we are praying for you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. So, remember. Or if you never knew. When you complain, then that means you're focusing on your complaints. You're focusing on something that's not going to help you. And don't forget, 80% of people that you complain to don't care. And 20% of the people that you complain to, they're happy that it's happening to you and not them. So it doesn't matter. So might as well just focus focus. And remain focused on that you're free. Because once you take this journey, you're free. You're free. You're free. So why not smile? Why not smile? And enjoy the freedom. And realize that it's a work in progress. Lifetime commitment. Not overnight. I was a certain way for about 20 years. I can't expect that to the first year. Oh, uh... Now I want everything. I'm not entitled to nothing. Okay? Being alive and being able to wake up, not in a hospital bed, is a privilege. It's a blessing. Okay? So, if you fall down, look up, get up, 
never give up. Okay? And in conclusion, to end this, my soul is telling me, and I'm, I'm going to do this because I never had the opportunity. And this shout out is going now to my daughter, Mari. Her name is Marissa, but I call her Mari. Mari Noguera. And I never had a chance to tell you this, but I, I want to ask for forgiveness. Please forgive me for all the years that I wasn't there. Forgive me. You don't have to love me. You don't have to accept me, but just forgive me for all the years I wasn't there. I take full responsibility for my part. And at this moment in time, spiritually, I'm reaching out to you and I'm saying that I'm very proud of you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're beautiful. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're one of a kind. I miss you. Oh. Keep being you, mama. Keep being you. You're very smart. And I appreciate you. And whatever you put your mind to, mama, and you conceive it and you believe it, you will achieve because you are a queen. There's only one of you, and I'm very proud of you. Please be safe, and I always pray for you. And I ask this, and I pray this for everybody right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you. May the healing process and all of my brothers and sisters continue and the whole world and for my brothers and sisters that are lost may they be found and for my brothers and sisters that are blind spiritually or physically may their sight be restored may we all connect to you so we can hear daily the messages that you have for us and be able to learn the lessons that today offers us and not forget the lessons that we learned in the past and applying for today. And thank you, Jesus, my Lord, for there is no weapon formed against us that shall ever prosper. For we can do anything through Jesus Christ that dwells within us. But it's up to you. Because you do count. You do matter more than you will ever know. Mighty, love you. And we ask this in the most precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessings. Thank you.